welcome 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 back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber just want to tell you thank you very much for the love but if this is your first time coming across my channel i'm info hub thank you for the love also i share information that can help you study walk and settle abroad so if you like this type of videos please and please kindly subscribe to this youtube channel so we can grow together turn on the notification bell so that when i re release videos like this you may just be the first to be notified so just like the title we are going to talk about nine different pathways that can actually help you move into the uk and at the end of this video you may have known your option so the first pathway we're going to talk about is the health and care worker route now the uk has experienced a lot of shortage in the healthcare system so they are looking to bring in foreign migrants who although maybe do not have a certificate in the health route but they have some sort of experience they can come into the uk if they get a job from an employer in the uk the second route that we're going to talk about is a very popular route the student slash tier 4 visa route so this pathway is very popular among among foreign migrants where you apply for a school in the uk when you do get a CAS, then you apply for your visa so that is that the third pathway we're going to talk about is the skilled worker route or the tier 2 visa for this visa you need an ielts you can actually extend the visa if you're still working for that same employer you can you can come with your family but you need to have a certificate of sponsorship which means you need to apply for the visa outside your country so when you do get a job you'll be issued what we call a cos or a certificate of sponsorship that cos is what you would use to apply for your visa so this pathway is also another amazing pathway in the description box i will link i will link the link to how you can get go about this now the fifth route we're going to talk about is the charity worker visa or sorry the fourth route just like the name implies this is a volunteer work that you can use to come into the uk the visa lasts for one year you can actually extend this visa for you to be eligible you, you need to be at least 18 years and above you would need to show proof of funds of about 1270 euros still you need a cos now the fifth pathway we're going to talk about is the seasonal work visa for farmers so this one is a very very fine opportunity for you if you have experience as a farmer you can get a job in the uk and come in on this route the sixth pathway is the global talent visa which is designed for highly talented individuals looking to come into the uk for this route you do not need to get a certificate of sponsorship all you need to get is what we call a letter of endorsement for you to get that letter of endorsement you need to show proof that you have won an eligible award in your sector so maybe you're an it personnel and you've won maybe the best it worker in a company before you can apply for an endorsement letter then when you get that endorsement letter you can be able to finally apply for this visa so this is a very very amazing route due to the fact that you do not need to apply for a certificate of sponsorship you just need to get this what we call endorsement letter you can come with your family on this route and even though you are already in the uk maybe on a student visa you can also switch to this visa so if you have experience there please and please try this route the next one we are going to talk about is what we call the minister of religion visa just like the name implies this visa route is open to 
religious leaders like pastors, bishops, clergies, imams. So if you know you fall under this category, you need to start applying for jobs, certificate jobs, sorry, as a pastor, imam, and so on. Like I said before, I would bring down the links in the description box that can help you facilitate this. The next route we're going to talk about is the sports person visa. Yes, as a sport person, maybe as a coach, or you, you play football, you play basketball, you can also be able to come to the UK via that route. All you need to do is to apply again for a job, so to speak. You can be able to apply for to play for a club in the UK and when you do play for the club or when you do get that contract that you sign you can be able to come into the uk so this is also a very very fine pathway that you can consider if you are a sports person you can switch from another visa maybe a student visa in the uk you can come with your dependents you can even extend this visa so this visa is also good but you need an ielts yes yes you do so the next one we're going to talk about is the dependent visa now this visa is not really fixed to get this visa you must be married to someone who has one of these visas that allow them come with a dependent for example you're married to someone that got a student visa or a skilled worker visa or a charity worker visa or maybe a minister of religions visa and you're the wife or you're the husband to that person you are eligible for a dependent visa also your kids too are also eligible for the dependent visa so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i would you can drop in your questions in the description in the in the comment section i will surely answer them and also do not forget to subscribe to this wonderful channel so we can grow together Turn on the notification bell so that when I release videos just like this, you may just be the first to be notified.